Hello, Johan. I'm a landscape designer and installer in Northern California. And naturally, the beautiful atrium here is one of my attractions when I'm in Orlando. Um, but I'm really puzzled at the absence of poor light, you know, of good lighting here. And I want to tell you what I mean. So this looks much better in the camera because it's auto uh, illuminating here. But normally in any kind of a nice resort, you'd have an underwater light, an underwater light. This would be illuminated. Uh, these areas here would be illuminated. And it's not bad on, you know, it's, it's actually very nice inside. But this feels dark and unfriendly relative to 90% of the five-star resorts that I visit. Um, you know, this is a $3 million installation, this landscape. And the question is, why is it missing $10,000 of lights? Because that's the most it would cost to make this look three times ni nicer. You want lights on these stems here. Uh, when I'm looking with my eyes, this looks terrible. Now, looking at the camera, it's lighting these up, which is actually giving your view uh, a much nicer one than the, the ones that my eyes have directly. This is very dim to my eyes when I look through the camera. Again, uh, it's the camera is adjusting for the fact that it knows it, the eyes like things to be brighter. But all of this is, uh, is very dark. So some, some, some down lights here would be nice. This is, you know, very dark in here. Uh, one, two, three, four spots are all that is needed. The walls need spots. Uh, and what you actually don't want is what you have. Like, I'd like to be seeing fish swimming in this area. Um, and again, the camera illuminates my hand automatically, but, you know, th this is all very dark in here. And uh, it's, with LED, it's incredibly cheap. Now, what you don't want are direct lights in your face. And the reason for that is, you know, it readjusts the eyes and, you know, at night it's a little bit uncomfortable. Very, very dim, very dark here. All of these nice details, you know, you need a spot going up here. It should be warm white. These are only $50 fixtures. Um, you can get them on Amazon and lots of small fixtures are far better than a few bright ones. You need light in here. You need light either going down, illuminating, like I can just barely see that beautiful koi. Um, but if I did business in Florida, I could do this whole thing with less than $10,000 would be my bid to make this look literally three times nicer. Now why that's important is you know, you've, you've invested the three million or whatever it has, you know, it's at least three million in infrastructure to look decent during the day. And you're paying that three million and your guests are paying for that price. Here again, we need spot, spot, spot. Now there's another portion, I, I haven't been to it yet on this visit, that has some nice twinkly lights wrapped around trees. That would be even better. But little sconces to uh, shine down in here at this point, rather than drill through the concrete, just a couple of uh, up lights or path lights would make a huge difference. These, these are not as good. They hurt the eyes and they're visible. You want ambient path lights. It doesn't hurt to, to have these, but just look at how 
you know, how dim and unfriendly this is. This is actually threatening to a certain number of people. Uh, again, none of the colors pop in here. A cup, you know, one one down light here. A couple of up lights in these trees would 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 lead to a warm, glowing feeling. Uh, there's no up lights over there. Again, you'd see into those plants. We're talking about roughly 150 fixtures would probably be optimal. 50 fixtures would make a huge difference. They can be low voltage, which means they can run through the ground. Um, they're cheaper than high voltage in power consumption, and uh, they can't give anyone a shock. So, again, a, you know, a spot right here. This looks nice because it's your... Um, you're doing your Halloween display, but this is what everything should look like. Um, and these are high voltage. You don't need high voltage. Uh, you need low voltage, which doesn't require an ele a licensed electrician, and that should be able to keep your costs to $150 per, per installed fixture. Um, here again, you know, it looks way better on the camera than it does when I'm looking at it. This is all dark, uh, and I want to be seeing, I want to be seeing light, you know, through there. I want to see light there, not the blinding of this light. I want to see g dimly glowing. I want to see an up light on this tree right here. So what I tell my clients about lighting, because, you know, I had a picture in my mind when I came here tonight. Now this is decent. This is decent, but you're only doing it to keep the, the alligators warm, which is odd, because they're out, actually out on that rock. This is, that's the effect that one uplight would, would provide, you know, you know, in a wash on that wall there. This is warm and inviting. This is dark and ugly. Um, and what I tell my clients when we install lighting is, if you pay me $100,000 to uh, install your landscape, and you're only home from, let's say, 7 p.m. until 10 p.m., half of your enjoyment of the garden is at night, looking out of the windows, walking around, etc. This is quite bright. I would go to warm white. The, 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 this is too white. Um, and a flickering, a flickering warm white uh, to red would be more consistent with this kind of medieval theme. But this bright white is what the eye doesn't like, uh, and direct light. So we're back in kind of the, the dark area. This whole thing feels very dark um, compared to what I was hoping and imagining it would be seeing it in the evening. Um, and again, very, very dark in, in here. So... Uh, you know, you don't necessarily have landscape experience. Uh, you have hotel management experience. Uh, but from a value perspective, this is a huge waste because it's looking 20% as good as it does in the day. Now, if you're losing 80% of the value, the impact value on a $3 million dollar uh, installation, you're effectively losing, you know, two point five million dollars of impact in the evening, which could be a time that a lot of your guests, you know, view this place. And LED light fixtures are so cheap. You know, we're talking 
less than a hundred dollars a month probably to run an extra 150 fixtures of LED in here and uh, yeah I mean look at look at what could be so magical under here and it's just nothing so uh, if you want any additional help picking fixtures let me know but hopefully this gives you a good idea uh, I install solid brass fixtures in Marin County, which is one of the wealthiest counties in, in the country. And I can do that for 150 per installed fixture low voltage. So if you're getting that or better, it is a huge benefit to it, install those in this hotel. I also think that uh, given the dimness up here and also you know, the fact that the white structure is not all that attractive. Um, hanging some kind of sparkling uh, type of string lights in a way that turn on and off. Disney does a great job with one of its art ceilings in the Swan and Dolphin, where you see shooting stars, etc. And, uh, you know, there's an opportunity for something like that. Uh, again, very low cost for the value generated.